Classic Plus versus the Burning Crusade. Ooh, Path of Exile music. Act one. Hey guys, what's up? Mad Season here, hey. back with another video for you. What up, dude? So, Classic has been out for over a month now. Okay. Some of you are already raid geared, some of you just hit 60, yep. and others still leveling. People have asked me what I think of it, and it's alright. I mean, it's decent, I guess. I've been playing just days. a little bit here and there, nothing too crazy. I have 17. I but check. one of the big questions that's come up quite often mm -hmm. is after phase 6 and the game is essentially all released, mm -hmm. should Blizzard do the same with the Burning Crusade expansion, Wrath, and eventually the peak of the game, Draenor? Or should they do oh, what, what everyone is calling Classic Plus content? Okay. Or maybe both? Well, for this video, I thought I'd go over both options, weigh the pros and cons of each one, I'm right. sure what route I think Blizzard will go down. I'll try to remain neutral for the most part, as I tend to do with most of my videos, and ultimately let you be the judge of what may or may not happen. So, let's start off here by defining Classic Plus, since this is a pretty vague term. It means different things to different people, but generally to most, it means new zones, More content dungeons, after raids, after or next. battlegrounds after the original end of Classic, yeah. which is of course patch 1.12 and the next Ramus raid. There it is. And Burning Crusade and Wrath and whatnot are pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. Basically the same thing that they've done with Classic, although maybe not an exact recreation. For example, just as how Classic was released in its 1.12 state, the Burning Crusade would be 2.4, and have a phase schedule to loosely match its content released over its 1.5 year lifespan. Mm -hmm. So both options have a lot of appeal for different reasons. However, okay. considering that it's with a community that has catastrophic meltdowns over blob shadows, it's also- Yep. That's the classic community. Catastrophic meltdowns over blob shadows. No changes. So very tricky ordeal. Let's first focus on Classic Plus here, since it's basically the meat of the video. The elephant in the room, so to speak, with Classic that anyone will tell you is stagnation. Yeah. Now, I always say that I could play Classic for a long time. I want to make every class, gear them all yeah. out, and focus more on PvP. I don't know about every class, games, but a lot of classes. I always have that challenge, and I'm sure many of you are in the same boat. But we need to take every Boom, player into is. account Fuck here. That idiot. There will be a certain amount of players who hit next Ramus and then quote finish their characters and then move on from Ooh, the game. That's yeah, that, that's my arm. Animals right live and die on new patches, yep. new raids to complete, new gear to obtain, battlegrounds to embark upon, and so on. MMOs this are treadmill evolving. is what keeps players playing, and it's the central focus of every MMO ever released. Yep. Well, until now at least. Classic, in its current state, is pretty unique because it's the first MMO with the planned quote end. The only thing it'll be missing Designed is a credit to die. screen. Blizzard is quite aware of this, which is why I've begun with the six phase schedule to get the content over time. Phase one we have Anixia and the Molten Core. Phase two we have Dire Maul, some world bosses, and the PvP system. That's what I'm looking in phase three to. is the Blackwing Lair, and so on, all the way to phase six. I can't which is, of wait, course, next Ramus. I'm so excited. Even private servers are aware of this issue, with some choosing to not only stagger raid releases, but also patches, starting yep. with 1.1, and then 1.2, and then all the way to 1.12, paying special care to the finer details that the official release threw to the wayside, such as talents and class balance. But all of this only delays the- I think it would have been cool if they released the game with the 1.1 talents and everything, even though I don't think it's realistic for that to happen, I still think that it would have been cool if they had done it. Inevitable. The game will see an eventual end of progression. Yep. And so, Classic is Plus true. is born. In the hills of Tears Fall, you find the Scarlet Crusade's home base, a four winged raid culminating with the final boss, Harold. <laughs> the old abandoned Ashara Crater Battleground, originally okay. designed to have aspects That's of mobile good. gaming, finally sees its release. Yeah, and maybe awesome. they make use of the Karazhan Crypts of by turning it into a mega dungeon on the scale of the Blackrock Depths. Oh man, that'd or be fucking insane. Or Mount Hyjal insane. is released as a level 60 questing zone and holds the Barrow Dens raid where Illidan yep. was imprisoned during the events of Warcraft 3. Oh, that'd be such a this good idea. This is what people mean when they say Classic Plus. It has the potential to be extraordinarily amazing, 
Wow. But it's evenly matched with the potential to be extraordinarily awful, and it really depends yeah, on how much that's trust what I'm you worried put about. in Blizzard. A lot of the people who play Classic mm -hmm. don't have trust in Blizzard. No, that's why I wonder why. not playing Kern with all of its gamey aspects. The table missions, the daily emissaries, yeah, Titan terrific. forging, killing ten murlocs for an epic, cross yep. realm, four different difficulties of raiding, yeah. class homogenization, Stop. and so on. Okay. The argument for Classic Plus is that ideally, it would be done in the spirit of vanilla. So basically, ideally. one difficulty, no the dungeon finding, there. or any of that stuff. But the issue is that there's no objective single definition of, quote, the spirit of vanilla. I think this is a really, really good point, what he's saying here, and I totally agree with it. And one of the best ways to explain this is the way that people approach the way that, you know, uh, different... Uh, there are some people that thought that dungeon grinding was against the spirit of vanilla. In my mind, I think that dungeon grinding is the spirit of vanilla, if you want. I think the spirit of vanilla is being able to do whatever the fuck you want. But there's a huge contingency of people who thought that, you know what, this isn't the way vanilla is supposed to be. This isn't what I remember. And I want the entire game and the people in the game to play the game in a way that reinforces my memories. And I think that's a big issue. It's a huge issue because everybody has a different definition of what Mad Season is saying the spirit of vanilla is. In my opinion, I think the spirit of vanilla is a sandbox. In other people's opinion, the spirit of vanilla is going through and doing all the quests. In other people's opinion, the spirit of vanilla is world PvP and ganking people. And oftentimes, these things are completely contradictory. <clears throat> it means different things to different yeah. people. For example, with new raids, you need new tier sets, right? Of course. So how do the set bonuses work? Will it be the old style, where it's just for one specialization? Well, yeah, of course. Referencing here that warrior sets were mainly for tanking, for example. Yeah. Should balanced druids get a set to make them viable? Listen, Star Chicken is already OP enough. We don't need to do this. But it is true. Like, if they ever did do a set and they made Rep Paladins better or they gave a balanced druids a set, I think that would be really interesting. But the worry is that... I'm much more comfortable with Blizzard adding new content to the game, but things that effectively balance the game differently, that's something that I also do worry about a lot. Should they even be viable? The class balance meta is a huge yep. deal to some, and insignificant to others, but at the end of the day, changed by the release of these potential new raids. Yep. In the Burning Crusade expansion, they switched from percentages over to the rating system, since the former didn't lend itself well into the yep. long term. If we kept the percentage-based stats today, you'd see BFA items with 13% crit on each piece. Oh man, so, that'd be awesome! So, if you released new raids in Classic, you'd eventually Shit, run into this dude. problem. And this is just off the top of my 14%. head. I'm sure there are a thousand more things. And again, it's a very fragile yep. community that has less than a 0% chance of agreeing yep. on anything. The bottom line is that Classic Plus is hugely advantageous because it addresses the issue of stagnation, but yep. it's equally disadvantageous because at that point, it's not classic. No, it's not. The proposed solution by some is the have your cake and eat it too method. Oh, that'll be no problem. servers that'll have classic plus and some that are true classic and Nexramus is the final raid. The big question there is that at that point, would the subscriber base be big enough to support something like that? When you bring That's a big problem because you've got not only people that are part of uh you've got retail wow, you've got classic, you've got classic plus, you've got fucking uh Burning Crusade, Wrath of the Lich King, and like that's like potentially five fucking different CS representatives that you've got to hire for these games. And like, yeah, there's gonna be overlap, whatever, but for the most part, it's five different sets of rules, five different things that you have to deal with. It's a lot, and I feel like that's one of the biggest things that people aren't taking into consideration is the logistical requirements of Blizzard setting up five different versions of the game, not even counting the amount of times it would fragment the player base. I think that's also a big issue, though. Just delete retail WoW, yeah, I wish that was the case, but um, I'd rather them fix it instead, and it seems like they are kind of making retail WoW a little bit better than it was. In choices like that, you're also affecting the community, <coughs> which most will say is the most important aspect of the game. Your server has an established community, and then all of the top rating yep. guilds jump ship to Classic Plus. Like I said, if you try, you can find an issue with anything. Yeah, that's a good point. So a lot of people just throw their hands up in this point and yeah. say, screw it. You know, Classic is working out pretty well so far, so just do the same with the Burning Crusade, and Wrath, yeah. and Draenor, etc. This is the safe option that I mentioned earlier. Yeah. 
at the time that this video was released, I think it's too early to tell if Classic is successful or not. You know me, I'm pretty much a fanatic about the game and am pushing yep. for it, but I think we'll only really know after maybe 5-6 to six months after Phase 6 is released if it'll have the staying power that I hope it has. It's doing pretty well right now, I think. The servers are maintaining a high population. Yeah, they're very popular. Several of them have in queue still, which is a good problem to have. I, I have guess. to sit in an hour or too, too basically. Close to release to determine if it's successful or not. I think. Yeah. All that being said, though, if it is successful, it shows that there's a clear demand for an older style of MMO, and logic dictates that other expansions, such as the Burning Crusade or Wrath, would be equally as successful as Classic. For the most part, I always yeah. tell people if you love Classic, you'll love the Burning Crusade. It's pretty much the same thing. Just a bit better class balance, and more raids, and arena. The flying is a big turnoff to people, but other than that, it's classic and just- You can only fly in in Outland. Like, the flying in Outland is completely fucking fine. Like, it, that's- if, if The main thing that I think people have problems with with flying is remember they added it to everywhere. That- that was the main thing. Flying in Outland is like, yeah, of course you have to fly in Outland. How the fuck are you going to get on top of Blade's Edge Mountains? How the fuck are you going to get over to Tempest Keep, which just had teleporters everywhere? It ruins world PvP. There's plenty of world PvP in Classic WoW. Or sorry, in, B in, in BC. The only way you solve that is you just make it to where there are control points and objectives that are on the ground, and then people have to land to deal with them. And a few things that dismount you if you get too close to them, right? I mean, it, it's not... It's only a problem for people that are not very creative with solutions. Just more of it. Wrath a bit less so, since that's when they started getting into the multiple difficulties in raiding. Yeah. Starting with the Trial of the Crusader raid, <coughs> and you also had heirlooms, and of course the Dungeon Finder, Stop. which seemed awesome at Stop. the time. I guarantee you, I was ecstatic when this was first oh released. Oh my god, today, yeah everybody people was. People kind of realized the negative impacts that it yep. has on the game. The big negative with this route, however, is that ultimately, it doesn't solve that issue of stagnation. Nope. It just delays it. I mean, who knows how people are feeling about BFA 10 years from now. Do you think that they would really re-release BFA servers? No. Like, oh, you remember when we ran 40,000 island expeditions for a 0.001% chance at a mount? Stop. Or those times where I auto-runned into a wall in the wharf runs? Oh Gee, yeah! that was a blast. I, I did wish that I could too. relive that. And although I said it's the safe option, yeah. there's still that issue of fracturing the community. Again, the Burning Crusade comes out and everyone leaves their server. Yeah. I think that they can stymie it by being careful with how they move players. The best option, I think, would be to allow transfer to Burning Crusade realms. But I think you should also keep your character on your classic realm. Oh. That way, you can always go back to classic if you wish, and you're leaving that door open to minimize your impact on the community and the server population. I was always, I, I was always very kind of torn on this issue as to whether if you transfer to Burning Crusade, should you keep your character or not? But Mad Season's argument of making it to where it doesn't affect server population and kill the high-end rating community whenever BC comes out, I think completely sells me on the idea. And just like the community impact of losing all those 60s, like a fucking Thanos snap of losing all of those like high-level players... I think that sells me completely on the idea that it has to be a copy and it can't be a transfer. Again though, it's still a big issue I think. So in summation, Classic Plus is more risky, yep. the potential to be great or awful, it really depends on how much you trust Blizzard, yep. and the Burning Crusade or Wrath is more safe. Yep. However, it doesn't solve that issue of stagnation, it just delays it. Yep. And both of them have that issue of fracturing the community. They sure do. In the beginning of this video, I said I'd give my opinion on what route I think they'd go down, so I guess I'll share that. In my opinion, it all depends on the health of the game. If the game is doing great 5-6 to six months after next Ramus, I think Blizzard will say, Hey, this worked out pretty well. Let's do the same thing with the Burning Crusade next. It's an we easy can choice. To see that, I would their assume. business and their sole purpose is to make money, and they would be <coughs> straight printing it with the Burning Crusade. They sure would. Blizzard will chase the money. If the whole Diablo Immortal fiasco isn't any indication of that, I yeah. don't know what is. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, no. You want to see some gameplay. Too bad. What does the Diablo community want to see? You want to see some gameplay. Show me some gameplay. Alright, here- oh. What? You peasants don't have mobile phones? 
You better not make any negative comments, or I'm gonna delete them. Yep. So, if Classic is successful, they'll 100% go for the sure thing, and do the same with other expansions. Although, I think the furthest it go would probably be Wrath. Maybe Cataclysm as well, uh, but who knows. However, yeah, probably. if the game isn't doing well, they have less to lose by taking that risk and doing Classic Plus content, I feel. At that point, I think they'll be pressured enough to revitalize the game and keep it afloat, at which point Classic Plus becomes the more appealing option. Whatever right. the case is, it's way too early to tell right now. Even Blizzard doesn't even know what to do. I don't think They've they do. They've of course been asked these questions a hundred times. I, I think they have and no Ian idea. And Ian the game director of Kern, and sort of spokesperson of Classic, has said absolutely no. However, Patrick Dawson, the production director, said that, although there are no plans for it right now, it's something that would absolutely be considered if the fans have a desire for it. Well, duh. We're just yeah. over a month in, so who really knows at the end of the day? If you ask me what I want, okay. right now, I'd say the Burning Crusade as opposed yeah. to Classic Plus. I missed a lot of that progression it's rating a safe in the bet. Burning Crusade. It, it so is a, it is a safe bet. That. Let's and be honestly, real. It was just a good expansion. Although the Classic Plus stuff sounds interesting to me, yeah. to me it's not Classic anymore, and I prefer it in its original state. I can Again, respect that. I could be playing it for decades, I feel. Final Fantasy VII is the same game every time I load it. Yep. And that doesn't stop me from playing it over and over again. Same with Dark Souls it's the for same me. Same with the Link to the Past, oh, Secret dude. of Mana, Ocarina of Time, and so on. It's oh, a pretty bad man. comparison since they're single player. Donkey games, Kong Country, with there how you huge go. Skill MMOs are, and then being multiplayer. Fuck yeah, It just dude. gives it more longevity to me personally. But, you know my saying opinions are like buttholes. Everyone has one. Some are a bit more crappy oh, I thought they than were others, shitty. but okay. that's just the way it is. The only and thing I care about here. is if you found the video interesting or entertaining. Like it if you liked it, All right. and I'll see you in the next one. So, Peace. you know what? I think that was a pretty well put together video. I, I think it was pretty fair, not necessarily... Farewell for now, I think that the issues that he brought up are things that we've talked about video. a lot on our stream already. See you again, soon. We'll see what the uh, what the chat has to say. I'm trying to I'm trying to imagine Matt peeing. I can't imagine it. Uh, he's always oh Mad sees him peeing. Okay, never mind. I'm confused there. Okay, what out? I can classic plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instant for like peak of the game and Draenor. So let's say TBC does release and classic gets stale. Whenever TBC gets stale, Wrath of the Lich can apparently see whenever it takes time to takes rabbit hole. Yeah, it's like five years, ten years down the line. No, they're not really thinking about that. TBC is kind of like classic plus. Yeah, I, I think that. What about this? Link the video? Oh, yeah, yeah, the video just came out, okay? So if you want to help out Mad Season, you like the video, make sure to give the video, I'm not signed in right now, make sure to give the video a like and uh, a thumbs up, right? And uh, let him know you like the video. It really helps out for his analytics. And, uh, you know, you know, he's giving us content. We should at least give him a little bit of promotion, all right?